I don't know that I could have uh, gone through all the things that I've gone through and continue to go through without God in my life, without uh, being able to turn to Him. I think when I was in junior high going into high school, it, uh, it, it really, you know, it, it kind of came into where I had to make a decision whether which way I was going to go with my life, whether I was going to follow all my buddies and do what they do, or if I was going to go and uh, be the man that God wanted me to be. You know, with all the parties going on and being the big football star, I guess, in college, the same thing, you know, and there's so much peer pressure uh, just to go be like the world, you know, and I, I knew that I had something better uh, in mind. Uh, I knew that God had something better for me. I think uh, high school it was hard because uh, there weren't very many Christians, but it, what I've noticed is uh, that as you go up in the ranks of playing any professional sport, you find there's a lot more Christians, there's a lot more people that believe in God, you know. You find that praying at the dinner table in front of your teammates in college is a little hard, but it's not as hard as it was in high school. In the NFL, three quarters of the team does it because they know that it's the only way that they're going to survive and be successful in life and get through the tough times because this is a tough business. That's, that's actually the nicest part about the NFL is because there's so many believers that uh, are considered the toughest guys in the league that, oh, they're Christians. So maybe you can be tough and you can be a good football player and to be able to walk with men of God together is, is a relationship that you can't have with, with buddies in high school that, that don't believe. Having a relationship with God with friends that, that are on your team that you fight and you bleed with, that, that stuff's important.